guys, we're officially starting my moving vlog to Arizona. Excuse me, what? Like, this is the start of it. It's Saturday morning. It's like 11 30, 12. My dad and brother are over with the U Haul. They just picked it up. Um, and I have a bunch of big furniture for my apartment like my bed frame, my TV stand, my TV and the couch and so we're loading that into the u-haul right now i haven't packed anything else myself so that's not my fault but this is gonna be quite the day um but i'm just i can't believe it's here like what how is this already i feel like i just moved into this house you guys we're loading all this up that's been in our garage this is a big old u-haul then my bed frame my couch and then the tv stand is in there Okay, now the garage is empty. That was like two seconds. Did. Um, okay, that literally took like 10 minutes. My brother and dad pretty much did most of the hard work, but now I'm going to my parents' house to get boxes because I don't really have <laughs> any here. You didn't say anything, you just moved <laughs> I'm just used to it. I just let you have your moment. <laughs> I did. Do you like our new shelves, you guys? Our bookshelves. Ooh, I almost knocked it over. It's our library. Yep, you can take it. Um, there's a late fee though, so. Yeah, we will be charged. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> besides that. <laughs> We're going to my house, I'm gonna get boxes, and then I just have to pack everything up that like I'm taking here and like go through my clothes and stuff. And I made a list yesterday of like everything I'm taking or an idea of it, and so now I just like I just have to do it today. <laughs> We're busy. Oh, we're hot. Oh, yeah. Everyone in the comments, Taylor, you hate Arizona. Oh, we hates it, and then she has to come back home because everyone likes to see us together. You know what I mean? Like me too. Because what am I gonna do? Yeah, we can do that. We can work on that one too. Just whatever one works for y'all. Um <laughs> All right. All right, that was it. Dad your hat is just so cute. <laughs> is that my old hat or something? Stole it from Freddie Sue. It does the tag on it. <laughs> that is funny. It looks no great. No way. It's yeah. just so cute on you. <laughs> Bring it back down and she needs to get under it. The top <laughs> What do you mean? Yeah, and then bring it up this way. Somebody needs to get it. Yeah. Alright guys, we made progress. Two of the couches in there. Cushions. We still have a lot to move in, but me and Taylor are leaving. And we're going to pack me up. Jake's letting me take his Jeep for the day. I, I haven't got to drive it yet. Okay, so... It's somehow already four o'clock. Um, I've managed to pack up two boxes, box of living room decor that we're like not using here. And then I just went through my dresser and that is everything from my dresser. It's swimsuits, socks, shorts, sports bras, underwear, all of that. And I still have, so clothes wise, most of the stuff that I'm taking is just my clothes that I need to pack up honestly, but I went through my dresser and it's kind of funny because I feel like now I finally have like an appropriate amount of clothes in my drawers. Like I still left all those swimsuits. That's ridiculous. But um, yeah, so shorts and that kind of stuff. Um, but now I need to go through my shoes because I have a box of shoes over here that I never touched and then my whole entire wall of them. I feel like my shoes are going to be one of the hardest parts because... I have a lot of like black jeans. I have a couple pairs. I'll leave one here, take one, you know, stuff like that. But shoes, it's like, they're all pretty different. And I like wearing them. Like I have my favorites that I want to take to both places. So it's like, I don't want to be there and be like, dang, I wish I had my blue dunks. I mean, this like outfit looks so cool. And then they're here. Vice versa too. It's like, and I don't want to take all my cute clothes to Arizona. Then like when I'm here, I have all my ugly clothes. I don't want to do that either. So it's like, be very mindful of like, all right, this would be appropriate in this climate that's what i'm thinking that made sense for the clothes but shoes you wear the same shoes everywhere i mean more sandals there but like streetwear shoes i'm like dang and i don't know how often i'll leave the house there like if i'll do more dressing up and going out here or there probably there but like i say that and then maybe i'm wrong it's stressing me out but taylor's reading the book that i've finished in two days called the bully it's so good it's a spicy book though it's spicy she hasn't gotten to that part yet but when she does, she's gonna say, Chloe, you weren't kidding. <laughs> no, it ain't like that bad. It really isn't, but it's a really good book. There's four of them. I already bought the second one, so I'm gonna read that at some point. But I have to finish a Chloe and Hoover book. Anyway, okay, now I'm gonna start my shoes. Okay, guys, these are the shoes going. That was honestly so difficult. Those are staying. 
and these are going. I'm really looking at the better shoes I have, it's crazy. Regret a decision. Because it's really annoying if I'm like getting ready and I'm like, oh, these shoes would be perfect. And then I'm like, I have them. I literally own them. I paid the money and I don't have them on me. That's going to drive me crazy. I just finished up going through all my clothes. It wasn't as hard as I thought. I'm just a little nervous that I took all my favorites to Arizona. Because I'm like, oh, I'll wear this, I'll wear this, I'll wear this. But I'm like, is it because I literally wear those clothes? But I'm like, I'll be here colder months. So a lot of my sweats are here and that kind of stuff. And then a lot of my tanks and shorts are going. But those are all my hanging clothes. And all my pants i just ran out of trash bags so my pants and three bags of hanging clothes and then all of my dresser clothes that's decor this is i don't even know oh that's bathroom stuff like cosmetics and then down here is clothes shoes one of these is shoes one of these is clothes dresser stuff bathroom stuff but now i need to go downstairs because there's like this room that i've been storing a bunch of stuff from when i moved here Initially, I was like, this is for sure going to Arizona, so I just put it in storage, and now I need to go through that and pack it up. Um, and then I think I have everything primarily out of the house, except for, like, I have a load of laundry going right now, and just, like, the stuff I'll use, because it's only Saturday, I don't leave till Tuesday, um, that kind of stuff. But I'm also only bringing a personal item on the flight, so from whenever my brother leaves to the personal, or to when I leave, I have to just make all that stuff fit into personal items, so that's going to be interesting. Okay, guys, I think I'm pretty organized. This is everything I'm taking on the plane, plus my laptop. And then, otherwise, that stuff's all staying, that gym bag's staying, and then all of that is going. It's a little not organized. It was the best I could do. It's really not that bad, actually. It's just I couldn't shut that box. And there's, like, a couple bags of stuff. But my dad and brother are bringing the U-Haul over right now so we can load it up. And then I think everything, I mean, for the next day, I guess my brother doesn't leave. So if I find, like, miscellaneous things around the house that I need to, like, take over there, I will. Well, that will fit in my car but me and taylor are keeping the jeep his jeep tonight because we're driving around to the top just like chill tonight um and so i'll swap out my car tomorrow but uh, i think this is pretty much my life this is all my goodies that are going to az which really isn't that much that looks like how much taylor moved into the house when we moved <laughs> Literally. pretty equivalent because all the furniture is like here and gone it's just our personal stuff the bathroom and the shoes were the hard part like cosmetic-y stuff, but these next days I'm gonna be looking a little ratchet because literally all my stuff's packed. I'll be free balling it, but. All right, y'all, we're going on a Jeep ride. We made it to my parents dropping off the Jeep and now we're eating. <laughs> Snack, <laughs> shocker. How did? <laughs> I had a hand up here, I don't know, but I'm not surprised. We always be eating something. Though. I'm going to my last church service and I'm so sad. But um, yeah, so I'm doing church. It's almost 9.30, I'm meeting Taylor and her mom. I have five minutes to get in there. And then I'm going home. We're doing a brunch with my parents and my brothers because my dad and my brother are leaving for work because they like travel, they're traveling salesmen pretty much. Um, so they have to like leave to get to their territory this afternoon. So we're gonna go do that and then I'm gonna help Jake pack, head home and then get my work done. But it looks so yummy. Okay guys, me and Jake just packed up all of his stuff. I helped him and we got he's got a lot of stuff so it's mainly his clothes but all of this has to go in the u-haul now and then this is like just household kind of basics but pretty much we're packed jake's leaving tomorrow at nine and our cars are getting shipped tomorrow so i'll be back here in the morning it's like four o'clock 3 30 i'm gonna go back to my house go to the gym organize my life at home edit get some work done and then bring my car in the morning yeah then jake's off and then i'm off the next day guys jake are you excited to leave today so excited so excited we're going to u-haul i'm gonna go with him so i'm gonna ride in the u-haul we have to go get insurance added to the u-haul because i didn't do it for something jakey poo leaves in an hour duncan this morning you guys i already went up and went on my little run yeah me too I packed my stuff miles. got my duncan i ran without my duncan this morning oh i'm in the u-haul for the first time yeah Four hours, baby. You're gonna have so much fun with Will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's nice in here. The lighting's nice. Yeah, it's a nice. I mean, you got, I got a lot of leg room. Oh, yeah. No cruise control. The Taylor Soap could have sat here. No cruise control. <laughs> we got ox cord. This is only half the stereo works right, though. 
Huh? Doesn't only like half the radio stereos work? Yep, it comes in about halfway. Good thing you're not so. vlogging. There's no good spots for my, my kid there tomorrow morning. I wouldn't mind. I don't want to go right now. I'm excited. But I'm not complaining about flying. <laughs> Why is this so funny? I would hate this. 24 hours. Yeah. It's a big boy. It's probably gonna be heavy too. It's a lot of stuff in the bag. You know how just how <laughs> little we've drove this thing already? Yeah. Like we drove it to your house what two times? Yeah. We it's already been a quarter of a tank. Oh my god, you're gonna be filling up every Yeah. Oh man. That is unfortunate. Jake's getting in the U-Haul to go for the next 24 hours. That is so unfortunate. Okay, so we got Jake's Jeep. With the top on, we did all that this morning, and then we filled it because we can put 100 pounds in our car. Jake just took off, so he's leaving. He will be gone. Oh, next time I see him, it'll be in Arizona, him and his friend. He's our neighbor, so they went and picked him up, and now they're on the road. So they'll be there tomorrow around, I don't know, probably around the time I get there because we'll have to like stop and sleep and add some hours. But it's like a 24-hour drive for them, so that's really unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, now me and my mom are just finishing, filling up the cars with like little things like pillows and that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, I'm gonna head home, wrap up work for the day. I'm gonna hit the gym. I ran this morning, like two and a half, that's it. And so then I'm gonna do like a workout, a little bit of a workout. And then um, tonight we're doing a girls night. Taylor and her mom and my mom are coming over to our house. We're making dinner. So to like send off and then, yeah. Can't believe he's gone already. I'm like low-key jealous. I'm not, I don't wanna drive, but like I wish I was like going. So I've been getting a lot of questions on like what I'm driving when I'm here in Iowa. Cause obviously I only have one car, but Jake, went through a phase in his life where he really did a lot of like buying and reselling cars and we have this BMW okay he got it on like Facebook marketplace or something like a year or so ago he's gonna fix it up and flip it and sell it but now we've just kept it as like a spare car it literally has bullet holes in the side I'm not even joking you um and listen to how loud it is when I take off like this is my car this is my car when I'm here well we have also a Jeep Wrangler but and it was my high school car my old like Jeep but um my mom's driving that right now because we sold her car because <laughs> we got like a good offer on her or something and they're gonna get her a new car they just haven't yet because we have so much going on um so she's driving that i'm driving this and this is so funny like literally listen how loud this is it's gonna be so embarrassing yeah every time i take off oh my god this is terrible <laughs> hi guys okay so i um it's already seven o'clock um, it is seven o'clock all day i I don't even know the last I updated you. I left home, went to the gym, had a client call, did um, programming for my client, and then I wrote out the newsletter for the week, got my YouTube video ready for tomorrow, so I'm like all set for work um, from what I can do now, what I needed to do for like my Monday. And then tomorrow I'm gonna work out. I might have to shoot an ad for like a brand deal on Instagram. I might have to sneak that in before I fly out, which will be interesting if I have to do that, if that's the case. Um, and then I fly, oh, I'm meeting my mom at her house at noon. The flight's at like 2.30 or something. But tonight, Taylor's mom and my mom are coming over. Taylor's mom made a full spread. She made us me dinner, made us dinner. Um, and then my mom's coming over spreading like a little girl's night because it's my last night before I leave. And yeah, I got Taylor hooked on my book. She's over here reading again. It's so good, isn't it? Yeah. So she's reading that on my Kindle. And... Yeah, she's gonna have to read that by tomorrow. Fifty oh, percent. <laughs> I just can't believe like it's already like seven at night. Like, excuse me. Today went by so fast, and Jake's already eight hours into his drive. So look at my bowl. It looks so good. Kimmy made us dinner. She brought it over. Love it. It looks so good. Like, look at the whole display we got going on. We got some cilantro lime rice. Some chicken and then I requested corn it's boiling in here I needed it before I went home I need to know. oh my god and she made her brownie she puts butterscotch chips in them do that if you don't do that and then we got all the toppings mmm this is so good excited to eat this it's gonna be my last home cooked meal in a while cuz I don't cook much you guys that is my corn oh it looks so amazing and this is so good Kim you killed this it's so good. The rice is so good too. Mm. This is so good. I'm digging the rice. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sweet corn, I was just different. So. 
You guys, Kim made her brownies and she puts butterscotch in them and they're so good. I heated it up. Dude, Wait. I forgot to do that part. I have to wear everything ready to go. Oh, you? Oh, we are Oh, my God. Like, magical. Oh, that pot is hot. Good thing I got ice cream to cool down. This meal was like a 20 out of 10. And I'm real sad that I'm not going to have a home cooked meal in a while. But the first night I'm back, I think we need to do this again. Mm -hmm.